Hello viewer, welcome back to 54A. Now in my last video I did say I've got a nice piece of you and I'm going to make a little bowl out of it. So I started it and um, started hollowing it out and I went through the side. Oh well. So today's project, <laughs> I'm going to make a pen and a pencil out of, hang on a minute, Jetoba. It's a very hard wood, quite dense. Smells a bit when you're turning it, but uh, I think it'll be quite nice. I've never used it before. I've already drilled the holes and I'm just going to rough the tubes up. Always rough the tubes up with a bit of sandpaper. Get a nice good grip when you glue it in. It doesn't take a minute. So I'm going to get these glued in. I'm going to use some Gorilla Glue. Leave it to dry then and uh, come back to them tomorrow. Oh, one thing, don't forget. If you're using Gorilla Glue, get yourself a little brush bit of water in the in the hole where the tube's going to go in the wood. The Gorilla Glue reacts with the water and that's what makes it foam up. Somebody mentioned in the, the last pen video I did about these TBC bushes. Surely all Taylor's Murfield bushes are TBC? Well the short answer to that is no. These are the ones I've got for this pen and pencil that I'm doing and they are angled inside but I've got another set here and they're just flat okay now then just put this back in the bag so I don't lose it now if you've got a drive centre like mine which doesn't go all the way to a point then these bushes won't fit on they just go on the end it's no good at all that's where the TBC bushes come in handy they're a lot wider flare on them and they fit actually on the cone so the short answer no not all Taylor's Murfield bushes are TBC right I left them overnight and they all foamed up very nicely around here. The only thing you've got to be careful of with the Gorilla Glue is don't get any inside the tube. There will be some if it foams up. So I've just got a little craft knife and go around. Now I've sanded this one down so as you can see it's shiny. I've done it on my little disc sander. So when you, when you hit the shiny bit it's time to stop. Insert the bushes for that particular kit and away you go TBC I'm just going to sand down the other one hard piece of wood but it doesn't look too bad With a 
piece of wood like this gives you a good opportunity to practice with all different tools. I've just been using a little spindle gouge, a 3 8 spindle gouge, and now I'm having to go with a little skew. Something this size is ideal to practice with a skew. You can even use the skew as a negative rake scraper. I'm leaving it very slightly barrel shaped, just slightly wider in the middle. This will be the, the nib end or the, the writing end. So I'll put a nice gentle slope on that and a more severe slope where the, the clip end is going to be. Next to sanding process, I'm starting off with 120 grit and going all the way through to 1200 grit. And that's pretty good. That's very good in fact. Um, there's lots of methods of sanding and uh, I'm not that fussy to be honest. You can, if you've got a reversible lathe, which I, which I luckily have, but I've never used it yet. You're supposed to sand one way, then sand the other way. Blow it off in between. I've just been wiping it with a dry paper towel and it gets most of the dust off. And uh, that to me is a good finish, but I will take it a bit further. And I'm going to use the micro mesh pads next. Now these little pads are padded. Um, they're the same as the the micro mesh sheets that you can get, same grit, but these have got a bit of sponge on them. And I tend to use these with a bit of water. Just dip them in water, not too fast a speed on the lathe. Now these usually start off at 1500, if you remember the sandpaper stopped at 1200. But I've lost my 1500, I don't know where it's gone, so this is the 1800. 
it goes all the way up to uh, 4,000 I think it is no tell a lie 12,000 so a quick dip in the water if you go too fast with these you can burn into the rubberized coating Obviously I'm just rushing it rushing through this to show you roughly how it's done, but that's so smooth now. But I'm gonna go a bit further <laughs> and get the Yorkshire grip microphone out. Oh, there's a lot on there. Don't want to waste it. quite nicely bit of sanding sealer and polish now I'm going to use the chestnut friction polish on this. I think you'll agree that's not a bad finish looks a bit like oak but it isn't a bit more orangey I think not a bad wood actually it's come out quite nice that so now I've got to do the same to the other blank forgot the micro crystalline got to put a coat of that on I'm gonna use this one for this it's as good as any I've used Turner's wood products so uh, give that a go. Right, the next bit is just to put them all together and um, with a single tube 
fairly straightforward. Got that piece there, which goes in that in there. My little homemade pen press. Little piece there that goes in that end. That piece screws in there after you've put the inside in. Now this is the pencil. Pop it in there so it sits in properly. Screw that in. Hopefully it comes out. The lead comes out as you push the clicker in. Lovely. I wanted a pencil for ages and now I've made myself one. I've got the gunmetal finish as well, but I thought the chrome goes well with this with this wood. So that's one done. Again these are Taylor's Murfield kits. Uh, they're really good kits. I can't say I've tried many of them, but there you go. When I say I haven't tried many of them, I mean many other brands of kit. I'm quite happy with these because I get excellent service. And they seem to go together really well, these kits. I'll pop that on there. It's basically the same as the, the pencil. Except for there's a little spring that goes on the end of the pen. Screw the end on. Perfect. Very nice. Yep. I like clicker pens. There we go. Matching pen and pencil set. And I'm keeping these, I don't care what anybody says. I've always wanted a propelling pencil for the workshop. Right then, um, that's it. Two pens, well a pen and a pencil. Very pleased with them, very pleased with how they've come out. Um, it might not be everybody's method, but it suits me and they seem to work fine. They've come out alright. Uh, update. This, I showed you at the start of the video. I'm not going to throw it away. I'll try and think of something to do with it. Um, I don't know what yet. I'm in great hold in it. Maybe some epoxy. We'll see anyway, but it will be a future project. Um, one quick shout out. If you haven't subscribed to Bram Sharp's channel, or Bram Two Lays as I know him, pop over and subscribe. I'll put a link to his uh, The Wade's Mill Wood Turner. Smashing bloke, old Two Lays. <laughs> and uh, subscribe to his channel. Uh, he does some nice stuff. Okay, folks, that's it. Thank you very much for watching again. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Put your thumbs up and all that. And I'll see you soon for the next one. Bye.